We're doing a uh, transabdominus plane block here, uh, or a tap block. You can tell we're, we're going to go midway between the iliac crest and the lower costal margin. Usually ends up about the level of the umbilicus. I put the probe just on the anterior abdomen to the right of the, the x-ray screen. You can see the rectus abdominis muscle and the internal oblique coming up and embedding the uh, rectus abdominis. You can see the rectus abdominis a little, little, little more in the picture there. And then as we start sliding laterally, the internal oblique meeting the rectus abdominis, the external oblique more superficial than the internal oblique, and then deep to the internal oblique is the transverse abdominis muscle. And the plane we want to get to is that um, plane between the uh, internal oblique and the rectus abdominis. So we want to get in this plane here. So external oblique, internal oblique, transversus abdominis muscles. This is a classic look. You're going to see this on all patients. It's just very, very uh, consistent. The difference is going to be between the external oblique and the, and the skin based on the adipose tissue in, in each patient. So we're putting our local in. I'm going to start. I have the probe in kind of the anterior axillary uh, line. And then we're going to work from medial to lateral. This is the one block you can actually go medial to lateral or you can bring your needle in from the lateral side of the probe and come back medially. The key is ending up with most of your volume back to the lateral aspect of the muscle or the post lateral posterior end of the muscle. You can see our local infiltration coming in from the right side of the screen. And then we're going to get our sonoplex tui and bring it in with an in-plane approach. It'll be coming from the right side of the screen, going left, and then we'll take it down and try to open up the, uh, the plane between the fascial layer of the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscle. So you can see the needle coming in. The last two centimeters have the echogenic properties of the payank needle that make it very easy to see when you're coming in at an angle like this. So we're approaching, we're approaching the transversus or the tap plane here, trying to pop in that plane. Looks like we're there. No, we tried to inject just a couple of cc's there. You can tell it was still in the in internal oblique muscles, so we're going to advance a little bit further. Try to feel this pop to get in between these two uh, fascial layers. When we start injecting, it should open right up, kind of like a river opening up. So we're trying to get, get the needle adjusted just right. But you can see this, you can see this needle very easily for the most part. Here we are. You can see the needle well. There we are. It looks like it's in a great location. So we start injecting there. Very easy to see the, the plane of the transverse abdominis muscle and the and the fascial of layer of the internal oblique open up. And so we're certainly in this plane between the two fascial layers of the muscles. We're injecting and we advance the needle more posteriorly under the probe. So you can see we keep opening up our space and advancing our needle trying to get to the posterior edge of the transversus abdominis muscle. And that's where more nerves are transversing, transversing through this plane. And that's where you're going to get uh, more extensive block and more multiple levels. It can block um, up, up to as much as from the T7 to L2 with high volume placed posteriorly. And you see we've opened up this plane extremely well. It's a beautiful picture. A uh, really great view of the needle. And, and as we're coming through, opening up this plane, and we're trying to get more posteriorly. Of course, with the abdomen, it's constantly moving, so uh, the needle sort of comes and goes a lot. You have to stay on it. Now we can see it again well. 
Uh, you have to keep adjusting your probe to maintain that needle view. The tap plane has been opened up with local anesthetic. Now we're back uh, to, we're going to try to inject some more, open up that plane and keep advancing our needle more posteriorly. The um, beauty of this needle is that when you come in at an angle, at a steep angle, and you do have to come most of the time, you can't come at a flat uh, approach like you do some blocks where you see the needle well. And this, this echogenic needle really helps uh, be able to see exactly where your needle is when you're coming in at an angle, angle because it has that advantage of those last two centimeters that you saw right there. This allows you to see the tip because you have to to uh, to see the tip, and if you can see it well, it helps it helps you be able to feel that pop and actually see the pop when you get in the, in the tap plane with the tip of your needle. Here we are pulling our needle back out. We finished. We've opened up our plane. Going to have a successful block. The whole tap plane is opened up with local anesthetic, as you can see there. This is a high volume procedure. It works best with uh, high volumes. We use uh, 30 to 40 cc's of volume. Uh, we, if you get that uh, volume posteriorly in the tap plane, it allows the spread of the local to get the uh, uh, dermatomes of uh, nerves T7 to L2. And so you get more spread of local and more of a, a broader aspect of the block uh, as more nerves are coming, coming through the tap plane.